All right, here's our video tutorial for the pulley lab. So first thing you're gonna do, uh, obviously, is click on this link. It should open up a page that looks just like this. Uh, and it's a little bit tough to see, so enlarge your screen if you need to. Here's your pulley, um, different information left and right here, and you can change the different types of pulleys going from simple to more complex. All right, and final instructions is number one, click on the boxes for distance pulled and distance moved. Those are the first two, they'll give you a little bit of information right there. And then leave the load at five newtons. Okay, so find load, five is good. Um, distance should be 0 0.2, 0 0.2, drag that up. Friction should be one. Okay, and pulley diameter is 0.2. All right, so that's good. All right, so slide the applied force slider all the way up, and hopefully the pulley will move. Okay, here's the applied force. Let's pull it all the way up, and then you get that thing to move. All right, record the data below, and then calculate the ideal mechanical advantage, IMA, and actual mechanical advantage, AMA. You may need the front view to count the number of strands. All right, so set up one. All right, so here's what we have set up one. That's the first one. Um, let's see what they're asking for first here. Uh, resistance force. So that is the weight of this block. And that is five newtons. Okay, I think that'll be the same the whole time because we're not going to change that. All right, applied force. That's right here, 7.375. Okay, the distance move is also the resistance distance. So the distance moved is right here, 0.2. Distance pulled, that's this one over here, distance pulled, also 0.2. All right, strands of strings, probably the toughest one for students to figure out. This is the number of strings that are right above this little way here. So you can see there's just one here. Now if you look at some of the other ones, so this one's going to have two that are directly above it. And this one also would have two. One, two, three, four. Now you can kind of change your view here. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So you can kind of switch this if you need to. This one's just got one for our first pulley system. So strands of string is one. Now the key thing with this is that strands of string and IMA are exactly the same thing. You don't have to calculate IMA. Okay, AMA, that's going to be resistance force divided by effort force. So here, this one, if you can't tell, I'll just put that in there for you. Resistance force, so it's going to be five divided by effort force 7.375 so if I pull up my calculator And there are no units for AMA. Work out is EF times ED. Here is EF. ED is 0.2, so 7, 7.375 times 0.2 is 1.2. Okay, and work in is RF times RD, so 5 times 
two. One efficiency is workout, so one point four seven five divided by one. Okay, so in this case, we're going to get more than one hundred percent efficiency. Alright, so then you switch to setup number two. So if you scroll in here, setup number two is single movable. So you go to this. Same thing, drag that up. And put the data in here. Uh, one graph with this um, efficiency versus IMA and some questions for you. So good luck with that.